Hey YouTube, what's going on with modern web design? Hello, I'm your host Casino. I'm the Digital Alchemist, and today I just want to talk about the current state of modern web design. So, for example, if it wasn't for Mr. Beast, everybody knows Mr. Beast, but if it was just some random John Doe website, would you trust this website with your credit card details? Personally, I would not. So I don't know about you, but personally, I would not. So, once again, it's because it's Mr. Beats. Now, a quick disclaimer before I move on further in the video, I just want to say that I'm not attacking anyone. Lots of the design I'm going to talk about, I know that the designers put a lot of hard work into it. So this is not what I'm talking about. I'm not mocking anyone and I'm not belittling anyone because most of these designers are really talented designers. But what I want to talk about is the current state of web design itself, not the people who actually put it into works if you know what I'm saying. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you know that I used to create trans video and I don't anymore. I mean, I did this year, but while I was doing it, I was like, man, it's so hard to find nice design because of all these trends. Now, granted, this is totally subjective. Maybe you love it, don't feel attacked. I'm just saying I work in the real world with businesses and most businesses, if they see something like this, they're going to think that, you know, I'm not serious. Once again, this is not a personal attack against the designers that did this. I know it took a lot of hard work. I'm just saying the trend itself, I mean, it worked for some industries, really creative industries, and even then, but it doesn't work for all businesses. Let's take a look at some more. So these are some of the trends. So it's gigantic, and here it's called gigantic. And maybe, okay, maybe it works for uh, food. I mean, that's not too bad, but, you know, these um, trends with, you know, many different fonts. I get it. This is totally the opposite of what we've been taught about good design. So this is kind of a disruptive movement in design. But you're not forced to like it. Personally, I don't like it. Not to say I hate it. Most of the time I hate it. I just don't like it. I don't find it attractive. And I've been implementing such designs for some of my clients in the artistic industry. And I did it as a professional, the best that I could. And I try to put my, um, my opinion aside. But still, when I finish these types of websites, I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of my work. I don't want to put it in my portfolio. And maybe it's just me, but, you know, I cannot force myself to like this type of types of designs so i'd be interested to know what's your take on it am i being too harsh or should i catch up with my artistic taste you know bearing in mind that i cannot force myself to like something now it's not about all of the trends and it's not purely about asymmetrical design because i believe it can be well implemented and that's what i'm trying to show on the channel you know um just take a look at this page i mean things are all over the place you know um, from a design point of view, but also an accessibility point of view and just a UI UX point of view. This is, this is a mess to me and I get it. People say it's the trend and people like it, but would you rather trust a company like this or maybe something like this that also has a symmetrical design, but it's way cleaner. It's way more professional. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, look at how clean this is. And of course, I'm going to review this website on the channel, but look at how clean it is. This is beautiful, beautiful typography. Uh, let me show you some more. Like this one. See, here it's also got some asymmetrical design and some of the trends, but it's well implemented. It looks really clean and neat. Beautiful in my opinion. This is something I could sell to a client because it looks beautiful. But when you take a look at this, I just don't get it. It's all over the place. I don't even know where to watch. Let's take a look at this one. So same thing. This is an e-commerce website. Okay. It's more on the artistic side. Okay. Fair enough. But still, and once again, I'm going to say this many times in this video, I'm not attacking the designers. They use the trends, the current trends. I'm just saying it's not my cup of tea, even though they did it well by following the disruptive trends. Uh, take a look at this. It's like everything screams importance. I don't know what's important here. 
you know, lots of moving parts. Actually, everything is moving except from the home page because I can I can I'm trying to scroll, nothing happens. So there seems to be also this trend that okay, let's make people's life harder. You know, people are used to do some things, you know, on the screen, but forget it. Let's make their life hell. You know. So if I'm just trying to find one information on this website, where do I go? You can see here info, imprint. I have no clue. Okay, okay, so this is the navigation. I get it now. Okay, so the navigation never moves. All right. I don't get it. So that's another of the trend with very blocky with lines, a blocky design with lines. I used to love, I actually I do love blocky design, but here with the lines, it can looks really it can look sorry, really clean. And by the way, I've built a similar website for one of my clients. And it was a joy to work on this website because the client was receptive that you know I was not going to implement all of those trends. But here to me, this screams, okay, I just typical awards website so a lot of the time when i'm trying to find inf um, inspiration i go on the awards website but nowadays it's taking me way longer to find just one single website i need to browse for like two hours to find one nice looking website nice according to my standards of course but because like i said i, I live in the real world if i want to make a living and sell websites you know if i come with some of these designs i'm never gonna <laughs> get paid you know, clients are going to insult me. Uh, now, if you live, I don't know, you live in San Francisco or in New York, and maybe the clients there, then they, they like this type of designs. But if you live somewhere, like not in a big city, uh, like myself, I live in a very uh, remote place because I live on an island. But even if I lived in Europe or in the US, but just in a regular city, I'm not sure that my clients would like something like this. You know, you better not be epileptic because, I mean, <laughs> you can get a heart attack just, you know, watching at this. I'm just kidding, of course. So this is another one. Um, so here you need to hover over the elements to know what's going on. So to me, this is really annoying for a user. Okay, I, I land on your website. I'm really trying to find something. And you ask me to take many actions just to find out where I want to go. So, and I think it's a e-commerce website because I, I see bag here. So I suppose it's the shopping cart. I mean, come on. If this is web design, then I don't know why, you know, I'm doing this. Honestly, I don't like these trends. I love beautiful design, beautifully crafted. So for example here, the layout itself I like. And I get that now it's all with, lots of colors the, the pictures are beautiful by the way but also these trends of really old school colors once again it's going to work for some brands for some businesses but let's say you just want to create a video for a plumber or um, an air conditioning um, service company i'm not sure you know that the people designing there will go with this type of designs once again, for some areas, it's really creative. It, it works well. This is another of the trend with the image when you hover over the elements and really huge text. And I, I love bold text, but I love bold text when it's nice to look at. When it's, I don't know, it's a work of web design art. You know, you're trying to, to convey a message and the, the, the boldness and the, the grayness of the font go in that direction but here is just purely for trends in my opinion and you know i don't know what's going on it's like okay you can't see big enough let me make this huge giant text what i'm trying to say as a message is what i'm trying to convey is don't use trends for the sake of just using trends because if that's the case you're a fashion victim i'm sorry that's the way i see it maybe i'm totally wrong this is just you know this is me unscripted just talking to you because I don't recognize the industry. Maybe I'm the issue, I don't know. But I'm just saying, as web designers, we've learned to create beautiful design. So basically, as a web designer, I love designing websites, of course, but I also love taking care of the studio here, for example. I love to take care of the furniture in my home. I'm trying to make things look nice. If you came to my house and it looked like this, I mean, you would feel oppressed. 
So what I'm trying to say is good web design is just part of good design. And I know that the current trends say otherwise because you're supposed to be disruptive and like this type of website, but I just don't. Now, the thing is, even corporate industries are, are trying to catch up with those trends. And honestly, what do you find attractive about this? Honestly, just this page. This looks like when I was learning web design with HTML and, you know, there was no responsive design. We just had like 10 fonts and a few colors and that's it. And that's the way it used to look like. But then we evolved because we got more fonts, we got more colors. I just don't get it. I need your help on this. What, what do I not understand about these trends? I still don't get it. This one, okay, I'm trying to scroll and it's scrolling sideways and it's really frustrating even though I, <laughs> I made a tutorial on this channel about horizontal scrolling but at least it was scrolling just one side. Here, it's, it's going sideways and I'm just trying to find the damn info but nope. <laughs> no, is it is it a menu here on top? Nope. Where is the menu? Where do I find the info? Okay, it's here. Okay, how do I go back? Okay, like this. It's so frustrating. It's not just the design, it's the whole experience. I really find it frustrating. It's a shame because here, for example, the picture is beautiful and the creation is beautiful. Okay, so this one started well, you know, kind of like the hero section. Then I started scrolling and then there you go. Those really uh, uh, big border radius, uh, lots of old schoolish colors giant fonts i like giant fonts but once again not for the sake of just being giant okay there are some there are a few things i like on this design but i don't know it's all over the place you know this is not just for the algorithm i really want you to let me know what do you like in this type of design or maybe you hate this design because sometimes i feel really alone <laughs> in this jungle of trends are there any people like me that find these new trends not nice you know and i'm trying to put it the nice way if you feel the same way let me know and if on the contrary you like this type of design don't get offended just you know try to convince me i'm not i'm not closed-minded i'm i'm open to try to understand one thing i cannot do is force myself to like something but maybe if i understand where you're coming from and why this design works and how it's going to stand the test of time then maybe I will change my mind. Maybe I will start seeing it on a different perspective and start liking it. So this, for example, so they're selling wine. Wine is supposed to be a little bit like classy, you know? And to me, the design of the website doesn't convey that. I hate those border radius, <laughs> you know, border radius on top and then square at the bottom and then those weird shapes. I know it's a trend, you know? Don't get me started on this. I know it's a trend. I, I even know how to implement this, you know. And um, for example, if you're using WordPress and Elementor, it's pretty easy to, to do this now. They, they added some of the features where you can easily mask, mask things. And even if you're just using, if you're coding by hand or if you're using uh, some software, you can probably do it also. I just don't like it. Okay, this one, this one almost, you know, really shocked me. I mean... <laughs> You know, so many things going on and once again, it's just all over the place. No structure. So what do you think about this? Do you think that these trends are going to be here for a long time? Do you like these trends? Do you hate these trends? See, personally, I don't think that those websites in, let's say, two or three years, or oh, okay, let's go further, let's say in five years, I don't think any of these websites will still be relevant in terms of design. I may be wrong, but that's the way I see it. Whereas when you have a more classy more uh, minimal design it can stand the test of time i've seen some six seven eight years old designs that still look good just because it was built with a minimalism and nice design in mind and if you make a comparison with uh, an apple machine even from a few years ago let's let's take the macbook air from 2010 or 2011 and let's take a pc from uh, that era just take a, a PC from 2010. You're going to see a big, bulky, most of the time, ugly in terms of design. Unless it's an Alienware or maybe a Dell because they got some nice designs. But for most other generic brands, 
if you take something from 10 years ago, it's going to look really ugly. Whereas the genius of design with brands like Apple and other similar brands is that once they've designed their products, it's going to look good even in 10, 20 years. I honestly don't think that this, this, or even this is going to look any good in 5, 10 or 20 years. So please let me know. Do you think that I'm wrong? And once again, let me know why. But on the constructive side, just, just don't come in the comments and say, oh, you don't know anything. Just let me know. Try to convince me. Let's debate. Or maybe on the other hand, you're feeling like me. You feel that you don't like these trends and you can't wait for a nice web design trends to come back. Let me know in the comments because I really want to hear what you got to say. See you in the next one. Cut. Thank <laughs> you.